Hello, this video is about Windows Safe Mode. Let's look at several ways to switch to Safe Mode. If you watch this video, you probably know why it is needed. If not, let's briefly review what Safe Mode is for 40 seconds. Did you know why you need Safe Mode in Windows? First, in this mode you can identify and solve the trouble. For example, you are having problems with the operating system due to drivers or applications. Safe Mode will start the system with a minimum set of components, using a minimum of drivers and services. This way you can identify the problem and fix it. Second, removing malware. Safe Mode makes it easier to remove malware, since many of them do not run in this mode. Third, you can use Safe Mode to install or remove programs that may be difficult to remove normally due to conflicts or errors. Now let's list the ways in which you can enter Safe Mode in Windows 10 and 11. And the first way is System Configuration. Open Start and write MS Config. Just type MS Config on the keyboard. Select System Configuration. Go to the Boot tab. Select the windows that we have current or in which we want to go into Safe Mode. If there is only one, then you don't need to select anything. Check the Safe Mode box and the Minimal option. When you click OK, you will be prompted to reboot. Click and the computer reboots in Safe Mode. To cancel it, repeat the same steps but vice versa. Uncheck the Safe Mode box. The second way is to use the Windows Recovery menu. To do this, hold down the Shift key and press the Reboot button. The computer will restart, and Windows will show options for system recovery. Select Troubleshooting. Advanced Options, Boot Options, and here among the boot options, there will be Safe Mode. Click Reboot. And now the computer, after rebooting, offers us three options for Safe Mode. For just Safe Mode, press F4. Safe Mode with Networking and F6. Safe Mode with Command Prompt Support. You can select F4 for most cases. The third option to enter Safe Mode is to use Windows Settings. Go to Settings, select System on the left, Recovery. And here, we find the option or special boot options or something similar. And click Reboot. Now the computer will reboot and again, we will be taken to the same menu that we launched using the Shift key. And here we can configure booting in Safe Mode. Another fourth option is to launch Safe Mode using a bootable Windows USB flash drive. Boot from this device, then select Recovery. And you will be taken to a similar menu where the steps will be the same. The fifth way to enter safe mode is to use the command prompt. To do this, launch the CMD application as an administrator and use the following command, bcd edit set default save boot minimal. When this command is executed, the default operating system will boot into safe mode. The next time you boot, if you have more than one operating system, instead of default, write current and execute this command by pressing enter, bcd edit command and I am current, we can look at the current settings and see here that safe boot minimal is in the settings. That is, the next time the system boots, it will be loaded in safe mode with the minimum setting to disable booting in safe mode. For this operating system, we use the following command, bcd edit, delete the current value. After executing such a command, the system will not boot into safe mode. The sixth way to use our application PC no problems. Of course, this is far from the most basic functions of this application, but if you use it on a regular basis, go to the settings here at the top and find the line Enter Safe Mode. Click Enter Safe Mode and confirm your desire by clicking Yes. The computer will immediately restart in Safe Mode. There you can again enter this program and there will already be a line to exit Safe Mode to cancel this setting. That's all. Thank you for watching. Support this video with a like and comment, and also subscribe to our channel. There are a lot of useful tips on working with a computer and the internet. See you again on air.